have these Mizuno golf clubs finally edged themselves into the underrated category? Let's find out, shall we? For near on three years, maybe two and a half years now, I have not been recommending you guys to go and get Mizuno irons. With all the chaos of the pandemic, shortage of supply, demand, new golfers, you name it, five year old, six year old, seven year old, 10 year old Mizuno irons, especially the forged ones, were going for double two and a half x their normal value and i've spent the last two years going through underrated brands lesser known brands lesser known clubs that just aren't getting the attention so you guys are able to get more club for your money when we're talking in the realms of underrated versus overrated price is always the determining factor for example if TaylorMade were out their stealth driver this year for 120 pounds that would be heavily underrated for the value of performance your adjustable heads the quantity everything else that you're getting the potential fittings at different shops x y and z and you're getting obviously the latest technology but of course they don't want to go bankrupt so that just isn't the case therefore i've loved finding underrated brands over the last three years where you're still getting that level of performance Okay, you might not have tons of choice in shafts, head, can't go and get that club fitting opportunity, but you're getting 98% worth of performance, maybe negligible performance, depending on who's actually swinging the golf club, for a 70% reduction in the amount of money that you're having to spend. Therefore, Mizuno, over the last three years, I haven't really been able to feature that much on the channel, unless I've got a great deal off Facebook, and even then, I can't really shout about it, because that's just not widely accessible to you guys. There's just no point me talking about a second-hand set of irons. That's going for 500, 600 pounds, and in that scenario, you're just better off going and get club fitted from PXG for five, six hundred pounds, four to pitch and wedge, brand new. Lo and behold, obviously I've come into possession of these Mizuno irons in my bag that I'm hitting today. And this was a perfect combination in terms of the five year rule of when they've come out. And if you don't know what the five year rule is, essentially you're getting as current to the latest technology with marginal difference between that and the new stuff coming out, but it's lost all the hype. It's depreciated enough where it's hit rock bottom and it's pretty much gonna flatline now steadily over the next 10 years whilst newer stuff comes out or the condition of the newer stuff's better. And obviously that will affect performance but the set i've got here today is flawless outrageously good in terms of aesthetics because the previous models to this mm, just didn't sit right with me just didn't look great don't get me wrong the performance side of it still as good as these ones but obviously it's only two three years in between them but aesthetically these just ones hit a bit different and the penultimate question at the end of this video which we'll be answering is is it just these mizuno irons that are dropping down in price or is it the whole market because let's be honest it makes sense if the whole economy is somewhat struggling at the moment it makes sense that the recreational sporting goods would also be struggling as well i don't normally check prices when i list stuff on ebay there's so many different factors i kind of gauge it with the experience i've had over the last four years or so good condition how many clubs popular shaft decent grip good condition heads x y and z for some reason i decided to look at recently sold and i was astonished to see what these golf clubs were going for which obviously i'll show you the prices after i'll show you the golf clubs i am of course talking about the jpx 900 forged golf clubs which two three years ago or let's say through the height of pandemic was easily going for 80 90 pounds a club we're talking almost like 500 pounds 450 pounds for four to pitch and wedge and at that price it almost dipped its toe into the overrated section hence why i was a big fan of clubs like swixen honma other japanese forge clubs that didn't necessarily get the hype and i understand because these golf clubs are very good they're exceptional and the reason i like this is it was that turning point of aesthetics where mizuno started making clubs that looked outrageous for the forgiving player don't get me wrong mizuno have always made outrageously good looking blades even the mmc irons for example but the jpx range just had that taint of cavity back forgiving beginner iron now obviously these are the forged version not the hot metal which you'd probably find cheaper because they're not forged as well as the tour version are even cheaper than this because let's be honest there aren't too many amateur golfers out there that are probably buy a second hand set of jpx tour irons but similar to these, the 919s aren't even that much more expensive. And then we go into the realms of the 921s, and it's a glimpse, a hope, a prayer 
for my second hand golf club channel that prices are coming back to normal the guys that were buying second hand clubs four years ago know what the value of drivers irons wedges were going for over the last two years any wedge was worth 30 pounds where there were times where you couldn't even sell a cleveland wedge because it was rusted and battered and there was stuff on the grip where essentially stuff over the last two years pretty much anything went let's look at some recently sold listings of these golf clubs and the telltale signs that potentially golf clubs in a whole are coming down in value I've always told you over the last two years stay away from auctions because there's been such little supply and demand and hysteria has been crazy and people are almost paying brand new prices for second-hand clubs here's a great prime example decent grips 900 forge in good condition 265 that's 37 pounds a stick and I can guarantee you last year last summer the one before that even we're talking 70 80 pounds for a five-year-old model of clubs this one I found very interesting obviously the hot metal version not the forge a slightly cheaper model 30% off was the offer used to be 451 went for 316 and that's from golf clubs for cash so you can imagine normal retailers your average Joe is going to be selling it cheaper. Again, 240, best offer accepted, so it went cheaper. 205 pounds for the pitching wedge, as you can see here, and in decent condition. Forge clubs don't typically do that well because obviously soft metal can easily get dented, scratched, dinked, you name it. Overall, I'm seeing quite a lot of decent looking clubs, decent condition. These have all been sold in the last two weeks or so, going for around that 30 pound mark. And at that kind of price point, I mean, uh, I can't say anything, but they're going into the underrated section. Obviously, we are mid-summer, so I don't want to say it's almost a buyer's market where we've still got quite a decent amount of the season left, but these could be the telltale signs, and I'd love to hear your thoughts on the matter. If you love this video, you potentially might like this one up here on the right-hand side. Catch you guys there.